Hey everyone, there's multiple ways that you can go about practicing uh, scales and patterns across the fretboard. What I'm going to do is go through one, and you can join me on this. Uh, feel free to go back, obviously watch the video again, and join in on the practice once you get it down. If you're not quite sure, you don't quite have it yet. I'm going to use the five shapes to demonstrate this, and if you're not sure what the five shapes are, make sure to check the link down below. That will give you access to my studio, Bob Ross and the Art of Guitar. You can give that a try, seven days, no charge. And in that, you will find a course that goes over the five shapes, along with other courses and multiple mini lessons that continue to come out each month. So here we go. What I'm going to do is work on playing triads, diatonic triads in the key of C. And what I'm going to do is use the pattern ascending descending. So I'm going to go up in G major, down in A minor, B diminished, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, then G major, A minor, B diminished, C major, and then back with D minor. And then I go back to C major, B diminished, a minor, G, F, E minor, D minor, C, B diminished, A minor, G major. And at this point, what I'll do is go ahead and start to go back up again. A minor, B diminished, and then I can resolve it to C at that point. So when I put it together, this is what we get. And then on this one, let's just go ahead and turn that into the triad. So we'll do the descending form of C major. So let's give this a shot, try it together. I have my metronome set to 80. So here we go with our ascending, descending pattern, diatonic triads in the key of C, starting on G. Two, three, four. Once again, just to make sure that we have it down. Again, this is shape five in the key of C. I'm doing diatonic triads with the pattern ascending, descending. One, two, ready, go. to that note C because that is a root note and that gives me a finality to the sound of the overall shape. Let's speed that up. Let's go up 10. So we're going to go to 90. Our goal for today would be 100. Obviously you can continue to go on beyond that, but let's go ahead and make it 90. Up 10. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Let's go ahead and speed it up again. We're going to go up to 100. 
If these jumps of 10 aren't quite working for you, it's a little too much, obviously you can go up by twos, by ones, by fives, whatever you need to, to lock in the pattern. You want a little bit of discomfort when you're playing this as you're trying to build off where your limitation is. So having that little bit of discomfort where you're having to push yourself a little bit, that's perfectly fine. I would stay in that range though and continue to drill it over and over again. If you continue to fall and have issues, then obviously slow it back down and make sure that you have the pattern down. Now here we go with the pattern at 100. Two, ready, go. So that's at 100, obviously you wanna to continue to go through this. You wanna get it to a point where it's automated and then you can speed it up. You can even start to implement this into your improvisation and using fragments of this. This will give you ideas to work on through improvisation because again, improvisation is not something that's just off the top of your head and just randomness. It is the things that you work on that come out into your plane. So using this outside of just a, a element of your practice that is just with a metronome playing up and down in a very strict way like that, try to use it in other ways to make it a little bit more musical. So hopefully you start using that in your practice. Again, don't forget to check in the description below. That's where you're going to find the link to Bob Ross and the Art of Guitar. You can try it for seven days, no charge. There's three tiers to it. Make sure that you check it out for all the different features that are available, and I'll catch you next time.